Welcome to the Boat Show, and today we're lucky enough to speak to the president of the Azmit Benetti Group of the Americas, Federico Ferrante. How are you doing, Federico? Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice to be here with you, and thank you for having me. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. So, today we're at the booth, and we have this beautiful yacht here. What are we sitting on today? Well, here we are on uh, our uh, actually new to the Americas. This is the first uh, time we entered the new Magellano 66 uh, in the Americas. So we are sitting on this incredible beauty, which is the Magellano 66 part of the Magellano collection. So I noticed it's a very robust boat. Looks like it's very seaworthy, wide side decks, great hull works, right? Tell us about the inspiration behind all this build. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's a great question. Thank you because. Uh, we are always very happy to share uh, interesting stories, uh, we hope. So the Magellano Collection started actually in 2010, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with a 74. It was, uh, was actually a very bold move because we introduced it, uh, I believe, in Genoa Boat Show. And it uh, was uh, an orange, the hull was metallic <laughs> orange, uh, which was very bold at the time, but that was yeah. the purpose, to make a statement. And uh, the the goal was uh, we we are from Paolo Vitelli, which is the owner-founder of the Asimo Benetti Group, along now with Giovanna Vitelli, his daughter, and they run it together, the, the, and myself as well, uh, in terms of the passion for yachts, the passion for boating, the passion for spending time on the water. So we have always had a tremendous amount of respect for the trawler, for the explorer segment of the industry. And uh, we were feeling like uh, uh, they had the incredible characteristics but maybe they were lacking a little bit the Italian flair, the Italian design, the Italian look, the Italian uh, touch of uh, uh, creativity and style inside and outside. So that's where the Magellan idea really uh, came from, to make uh, uh, an Italian looking uh, trawler explorer product. And we introduced the 74 back then, and ever since has been a progressive success uh, throughout many different models all the way to now, uh, fast forward uh, 12 years and now the, the Magellano collection is a full collection. It starts at 58, we have a brand new 58 Magellano coming out and this is the second element of the collection, a 66 and then we have a 25 meter Magellano and the recently launched 30 meter Magellano which is uh, an incredible product. So we have four phenomenal boats and they all carry the same uh, DNA so as you perfectly mm -hmm. mentioned very sturdy, designed to spend a lot of time on the water, designed to go from point A to point B no matter the conditions. So rough uh, weather uh, is, uh, is, uh, is not a problem on a, on a Magellano. But uh, we also developed something which didn't exist, which is the dual mode. Hull, um, and which is a very unique uh, hull design. I'm talking now about hydrodynamics, uh, which has a, a very uh, stiff dead rise in the bow side, and then gradually become a more flatter on the stern side, which allows the hull to perform extremely well in displacement mode. So the typical 10, 10 knots, give or take transfer speed or bad weather speed, the boat sit, there's a lot of buoyancy in the bow, so there is really virtually no pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when you give power, uh, the boat get up on plane. So this is a boat which works perfectly at 10 knots as well as at 24. Talk about Italian flair and style right here in the salon, right? There is uh, so much work and attention to details when it comes to both exterior and interior our focus, our first uh, mission in, in what we do in the world is beauty. I mean, our boats uh, are, of course, they satisfy all the other criteria with every brand that does. But on top of that, uh, beauty is always the, the, the main characteristics. And uh, yeah, on the Magellano, I mean, the exterior lines uh, uh, were very difficult because, as I said, you want a boat which is sturdy, you want a boat which is very high in the bow, which has also some technical purposes, not to cut it through weather, to make sure that you know all your bow rails are at the proper height, everything is very sturdy, and sometimes sturdy and beautiful don't necessarily yeah. go together, right? Sure. So we, we, I think we did an amazing job on the outside, because the boat is pretty, on top of being sturdy. 
And uh, on the inside, uh, this is the creativity and work of our style department. We have a full department of uh, obviously uh, architects uh, from uh, the best Italian uh, universities, and uh, they have created this incredible uh, look of the texture, Six texture. specifically, yeah, yeah the texture. It's fantastic. And, and while you talk about texture, that's a great point because uh, on that bulkhead, for instance. Uh, uh, we have a, what we call a cannettato, which is uh, the wood that uh, uh, you would say there. So the, 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 the standard wood configuration of the boat, but is made in, in little rounded uh, canes, if you wish, to glue to each other and give that feeling. So of uh, you know a very unique look. There is a, an incredible work done with mirrors, which uh, you don't want to put too much mirrors because they become. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you want to put mirrors in the right places which extend the space and make it feel uh, bigger. And this is uh, really the mood of the Magellano, all of them, is uh, uh, intended for the owners to spend a lot of time on board. So everything is very comfortable. These sofas are residential size, so you will find the same size of sofa in an apartment. And you have your lounge area which is uh, facing exactly the TV, so if you can picture yourself here watching a movie with family and friends, the dining is full-size dining for six people, everybody has his own chair permanently there, you don't need to move things around, it's really uh, in 60 feet, uh, 66 feet, you have the feeling of really a very comfortable uh, apartment. So Federico, I really want to thank you for our walk around to this beautiful vessel. But honestly, you at home, what you need to do is you need to step aboard because you need to you need to touch and feel the textures and see the beauty for yourself because it is absolutely stunning. Thank you. And yeah, that's a great point. There is nothing, there is no video that can do justice to touch and feel and experience. Leave the volume, leave the space, and see for yourself how much space you have but yeah if you can and have the opportunity please come see us anywhere in the world we are we have the largest dealer network in the world so we have products everywhere come see us and uh, see it for yourself <laughs>